What's going on, Griffs? I am Reese Salas with Game Day Corner. Eric Hitson. Welcome back to the fifth episode of the Griffin's Nest. We talk everything Gwetta Mercy University athletics from game highlights to pregame analysis and insider interviews with student athletes, coaches, and administrators. Eric, back after this Thanksgiving break, how was your break? It was a good, well-needed break. Good Thanksgiving. Hopefully all of our listeners and as well had a good Thanksgiving. And now tis the season especially my favorite time of the year. But uh, also, Griffin's basketball. It is jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. We're going to jingle right into our players of the week. First for our women's basketball team, Lindsay Eggers was the Atlantic East Conference player of the week. She scored 25 points per game, 7 rebounds per game, and 5 assists per game. Yeah, congratulations to Lindsay Eggers. I'm sure this will not be the first time she is the AEC Women's Player of the Week as she has had it in the past in her uh, previous seasons. Uh, however, big big uh, needed win from the Griffins uh, last week against Penn State Harrisburg is when she was awarded this accolade as she did finish with 25 points. As you mentioned, uh, congratulations to her. And again, probably won't be the first time we say her name for player of the week yeah congratulations to you Lindsay. you've been balling out there alongside her in the atlantic east conference weekly honor roll natalie o'neill was honored scoring six points per game whopping 17 rebounds per game and two blocks per game yeah yeah with the griffins only playing one game last week uh she made a huge impact defensively especially for the Griffins and she probably had some recognition probably and some votes for defensive player of the week but unable to secure but again a team high excuse me a team high game high and season high 17 rebounds along to go with six points two assists and two blocks and she actually right now is leading the Atlantic East Conference in rebounds per game so Natalie O'Neill keep working hard down low in the paint area get those rebounds and I'm sure your points will come as well. Yeah, congratulations to you, Natalie, working hard out there. Moving on to men's basketball, where one player garnered weekly honor roll for the Atlantic East Conference. That player was Manny Clark, averaging 14 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, and 2 assists per game. Yeah, similarly to the women's team, uh, the men's team only played one game last week, and that was against Delaware Valley University, which we will go over in our recap segment, uh, unfortunately, they did lose to Delaware Valley University 76-68. But Manny Clark, who's had a quieter start to his senior season and his standards, uh, definitely made a big, big impact as he actually came off the bench that game and finished with a double-double with 14 points and 10 rebounds. So, again, I said this with Lindsey Eggers, but I know for a fact this will be not the, fir- the last time we say Manny Clark's name uh, here for the weekly honor roll or – possibly player of the week mentions yeah manny congratulations i see you out there all the time playing you're a hell of a player congratulations once again all right griff moving on to this week's game highlights been a short week only two games so far on monday your women's team traveled out to rowan university where they took a solid loss losing 93 to 64 bright star of that game, though, nothing wasn't all bad. Ava Cassell finished the night with 23 points. Yeah, like you said, she was pretty much honestly only the only lone bright spot for the Griffins uh, in that game, the senior guard from Washington Township, New Jersey. And it's a good sign for Ava Cassell as she was struggling the past few games from the floor, uh, but finished that game 67% from the field and 6 of 9 from beyond the arc. So... Good for her to get back on track. She also finished with a team high four steals as well as two rebounds and two assists. But I think the big difference uh, in the game that was played on Monday was the defense. Usually the Gwen Mercy University Griffins defense uh, for both teams, but particularly for Coach Mondillo, always preaches defense, leads to offense. And they really couldn't keep the uh, profs in check. They were 35-71 of 71 from the field, which is – Almost 50%. We'll just round it down to 49%. And 11 of 26 from three-point land, that's a 42%. Um, 
And Linz Jaeger is very quiet. Profs did a great job of containing her the entire game. Uh, she was only 4 of 13 from the field, finishing with 12 points. On the opposite side of the spectrum, your men's team had a great victory over Salisbury University, winning that game on Wednesday, 72-57. to How about this, Eric? Four players on your men's team had double-digit scoring figures. Those players were Manny Clark, Johan Vincent, Aquil Stewart, and DJ Johnson. Yeah, and uh, coming into that game, they were on a two-game losing streak, and it seemed like... You know, this high-powered offense that I I thought the Griffins were going to have coming into the season was kind of slowing down a little bit, especially against Delaware Valley University. A lot of the players they expect to step up struggled in that game. And, you know, we game was just yesterday. It's still fresh in my mind, that post-game interview with Johan Vincent, who we brought up for a post-game interview after the win. He kind of said, you know, with our team so deep, he thinks this is the most talented team that he's played with uh, here at Gwen and Mercy. Uh, he thinks that anybody on any given night can go out and score 20. And, well, no one scored 20, but you have four people in double figures and points. That's going to be a recipe for success for the Griffins going forward. So congratulations to them getting back on track. And, as we said, Manny Clark, 14 points. Joan Vincent, 13. Aquil Stewart, who I might have said on the broadcast yesterday that he is my favorite Griffin to watch right now. And... He he definitely made his impact early on, uh, replacing uh, Aziz Parker, who was in street clothes yesterday, and he was great off the jump and provided high energy for the team. And then DJ Johnson really came into his own in the second half and helped propel the Griffins to that 72-57 victory. Yeah, not to mention Johan Vincent. Calm, cool, and collected of the game, but he actually grabbed his first double-double in a Griffins uniform Last night, he also had 12 rebounds to go those 13 points. So congratulations to him and congratulations to the entire men's team for pulling out a great dub yesterday. Moving on to our upcoming games of the week. All right, next up, we have your upcoming games for the week. At the time of recording, the women's basketball team is taking on University of Valley Forge here tonight at 7 p.m. That's Thursday, November 30th. You can catch that here at the Griffins Complex, or you can check it out on the Atlantic East Network. This basketball team is also taking on Delaware Valley University at Del Val Saturday at 1 p.m. Coming up next week for your men's basketball game, this is different for your Gwen and Mercy D3 action. They're taking on Delaware State University in Dover for an NCAA Division I exhibition match. That game's going to be Tuesday, December 5th at 7 p.m. Griffins, as always, we're going to wrap things up with our house cleaning. Eric has some house cleaning for us today. What we got, Eric? Yeah, so uh, first-year head coach for the women's lacrosse team, Megan Sachs, is pleased to announce that the Griffins will host a prospect camp on Saturday, January 20th at the Athletic Complex. Uh, this women's, pros uh, women's lacrosse prospect day is open to college transfer and high school student athletes. And if you're interested, if anybody's out there listening, please go to the website for more additional information. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining us in this episode of The Griffin's Nest. We look forward to future episodes and victories. And if there are any topics that interest you or if you are interested in being on The Griffin's Nest, please contact Athletics Communications intern Reese Salas or Game Day Coordinator Eric Hitch. And most importantly, go Griffs.